neutral and general game plan of the new Quan Chi, excluding cameos, but we'll get to them, okay? So, what do you want to do as a Quan Chi player? Right off the bat, you want to create distance until you get a feel of your opponent, okay? You can't really go aggressive on him right off the bat because you have very bad buttons. So, you want to create a bit of distance, moving backwards, jumping backwards, anything of uh, that kind. And you have options like this pull and, you know, do a bit of zoning and all that good stuff, right? Some other options, obviously, you can have the green one that costs one bar. Sometimes I like to do it at the beginning of the round just to, you know, uh, mess with my opponent if I feel like they're going to be very aggressive. But your best tool when it comes to neutral is actually the standing four. This will check them anywhere. And not only that, you can cancel out of it in a nice little portal or... The bone cage. This is, uh, in my opinion, one of the best tools that you can use in neutral and at the end of the combos. Okay, so usually you want to be at this uh, distance, uh, more or less, right? So you're just gonna do stuff like this, and then go into an orange one, and then go aggressive on them because you have the safety of that. If they block it, you're gonna have armor, and you're gonna steal their turn. Okay. Sometimes. The standing four will whiff if obviously they crouch or they move forward or jump forward and all that good stuff. As a point you player, you want to look for the jump ins, obviously, and use your standing three uh, accordingly or your standing one. But if you're bad at it, just use a block, okay? As I mentioned, it will whiff sometimes if they move forward. So in that case, you want to use also your pokes. Usually they're pretty bad because if they block it, as you can see, you're minus 10. So you're going to get hit afterwards no matter what. So you want to use like the down four because you have a lot of range and you have no hitbox. So even if they try to hit you, you know, and maybe hit the skull, it's not going to interrupt your animation. You're still going to hit them and they cannot hit you. You know, so these are the best buttons. Uh, if you use them from this distance okay just to check them if they keep pressing buttons okay but if you're close range yeah you, you it is bad news okay so this is what you want to do standing four into bone cage even if they block it they're still gonna get trapped they're still on your pace this is the ideal situation and if they're being super aggressive this is where you know the green pole comes in remember you can control it you can have this and keep controlling the pace of the game by zoning and all that good stuff, okay? What if you're still close to them? What are you gonna do? You're gonna use your down pokes, obviously, even though they're minus, but you're gonna have to use it uh, with a special move. Preferably, you're gonna use something like this, you know, the orange one, because uh, even though you're not gonna push them away, it's gonna stay there for a long time. So you're gonna still turn like no one's business. Or poke into the green one to establish distance. They're probably gonna press a button there and if they do, you know, you're gonna catch them with this, like, more often than not. If they get hit, obviously, you can go for grabs, hit, jump, go for low, something like this. Uh, just to, you know, keep them in check and make them respect you. And also, you need to establish this string right here and this string right here. You need to let them know that you're gonna finish it, okay? Especially this one. Usually this one, you now, you don't really want to finish into this, okay? You're gonna get away with it sometimes, but you know, usually you're gonna get punished. So you wanna have to, you know, stay to these two uh, strings, okay? Back three, four, and usually you can go either into meter burn green, you know, and keep continuing the combo, something like this. Or uh, if you have a cameo, make yourself safe. So you have to establish that beforehand. Afterwards, you're gonna do stuff like this. Okay, and obviously here comes the mix. Usually stuff like this staggers, you have minus seven, right? You're minus. Staggers like this, only characters with plus frames can get away with. Johnny Cage, for example. But you're Quan Chi. You're gonna win games by outsmarting your opponents every single time. So you're gonna get away with stuff like this a lot of the times, okay? And, you know, mix it up. Finish the string sometime. Some other cool stuff that you can do, let's just say you meter burn it that's gonna stay there for a lot of time go this and obviously just jump in okay as i mentioned you have uh, armor in case they block it okay some other buttons then you're gonna use this this right here but not all the time okay this is very bad okay this you it looks like a mid and the animation you know when you hit them it looks like a mid right 
but in reality is actually a high. This is a high for no other reason than developers being dicks uh, and just ma intentionally making Quan Chi bad. So you're not gonna be using this very often because you're gonna get poked out of it a lot of the time even trying to use it. Even, you know, you can visually see Quan Chi hitting them, they will not get hit because it's a high. So you don't really want to go for it only on some occasions if you know that your opponent will respect you, okay? You have options like this and options like this. But remember, there are gaps and if they know the matchup, they will armor for it every single time. Uh, but that's very rare. But always expect your opponent to be good, okay? Don't underestimate them. You cannot afford as a Quan Chi player to underestimate opponents. And also, the bow cage is very strong because even if they armor through it, you still have enough time to block it, okay? Because you have plus two, uh, even on block. Some other options you can go after this if you don't have the cameo ready is to meter burn. Use armor, right? I do it a lot of the time just to steal the turn and keep, uh, you know, control the pace of it. Even if it costs two bars sometimes, I'm gonna still keep doing it and play at my pace. That's the name of the game with Quan Chi. Some other stuff that you can do if you're being pressured is obviously just have the balls after you know you you do this right they block it they're gonna punish you with another <clears throat> down poke afterwards have the balls to just crouch because usually but not every time they're gonna go for a grab poke into grab is one of the best moves that you're gonna see online you know one of the most common ones and uh, yeah it's very easy to counter okay just look for it have the balls and if you manage to make them whiff a grab trust me you're gonna Make them quiver the boots, okay? Piss will go down their leg and they're gonna respect, okay? So they're not gonna be doing that every single time. And obviously if they have like a, a string that will end in a grab, for example, Peacemaker, just do that. Just neutral duck it. And yeah, they're gonna, their mind will explode. So let's say we are in the corner right now and you are pressuring them, okay? What to do? Right off the bat, you need to establish the green one, okay? Push them. And keep them there and then immediately after that obviously you're gonna do this and that no there's no other way around this is the best advantage you can have and the best situation you can be with Quan Chi. you can do whatever you want from that either go for it. obviously on overhead that's the best you can do but still it's a mix and obviously the low combos okay it's not that big of a deal you don't really want to end with this uh, very rarely, only if you know you know you're gonna finish them off and you want to end in a brule. Usually, you want to end in something like and keep your turn right, keep playing on your pace. This is usually what you want to do. You definitely don't want to meter burn this, okay? Definitely don't want to meter burn this. This is the worst thing that you can do. Uh, only meter burning if you know it's gonna finish, but usually, it's not. It's not really worth the extra 5% damage that you're gonna get. Because think about it, with two bars you can meter burn this, meter burn that, and you get so much more. Establish the green one right off the bat. You don't need to meter burn the purp the orange one. It's enough to have the green one. Keep ending it in the skull, and then obviously this, or if you have the bar, this. And before you know it, their life is gonna be done. So let's just say you are being pressured now in the corner. What to do? I mean, this will happen a lot of the times, okay? Especially if your opponent is good and just knows a bit the matchup and, you know, know how to poke you and, uh, and all that good stuff. Uh, and obviously don't respect the standing fall because they're going to keep moving forward. But <clears throat> if you find in this situation, you have not a lot of options, but the best one you will probably think is obviously down poke into the green one, right? And, you know, continue the pressure, try to create, you know, uh, make them whiff. Yeah, it is a viable option, okay, I'm not saying that is not. However, the best one, in my opinion, is down poke or something like that into the orange one. This will last for around 210 uh, frames, yes, as you can see. But if you take a look at the purple or the orange one, man, I keep messing them up, uh, it will last for around 500 frames, if I'm not mistaken. And you get like three intermittent, you know, armor, yeah, 510 frames. Uh, basically 10 years down poke into this and you know just block for a second until the armor will be active okay uh i didn't meter burn that in that situation but if you meter burn you're gonna get 
three occasions when you're gonna have armor. 100% gonna get your turn back. But with this, with the green one, some if they respect you, you have nothing. You're still gonna end up in the corner because it's not gonna last that long. As you can see, I'm still here. I cannot do anything, okay? Even if I try to jump, they can still do something. Good play won't let you get out of the corner and will respect you're not gonna press buttons in that situation, right? So you're gonna still end up here. But with this, no matter what they do, you have armor, you can jump and it can then do a thing. You can also go for a nice little grab and change the corner. So this is, in my opinion, the best solution to get out of the corner with Quan Chi. So let's just say you don't have the bar. What are the options? So in my opinion, you can try, obviously, uh, to block and poke and then go for a grab, poke, jump out of it or something like this, or poke, go into the back three or the almighty uh, standing one. The neutral jump too. This is very good, especially, you know, do this, you can do stuff like this. And sometimes they will, you know, try to poke you uh, and, you know, gonna catch them with uh, with this one, okay? Right after this, go into a nice little sweep and you get your turn back, okay? Just to mention one more thing, when it comes to the green one, some characters, for example, Tanya, can actually hit you through it. They don't care. Another reason why um, the orange purple is just better. So now let's go into some general combos when it comes to Quan Chi, obviously excluding cameo. If you don't know these ones, you're not gonna be able to apply to different cameos. The cameo you will choose, it all depends on learning the basic when it comes to the character, okay? I mean, it's, it's common sense, but you know, your main one is gonna be this, okay? You're always gonna get them or, you know, punish them by using this. So you're gonna come like this, boom. Boom, boom. You can go for this one and obviously have a free portal uh, setup into zoning. Or obviously you can go for something like this. Boom. Into the cage. Or you can obviously end it in a different way. Something like this. If you don't have a bar, if you don't have the cameo available, I will always put them, you know, uh, in the other side of the screen so you can go for some of the zoning and get some of the meter back But if you have meter to spend yeah, put them near you and use the portals meter burn stuff Use the cameos to keep you safe or for the mix another common one is gonna be the back three of this obviously I definitely recommend ending into this and obviously going to the portal as I mentioned uh, I definitely recommend you watching you know some of the gameplay that I have a lot of videos and footage of real life you know online games uh I, you know you don't need to watch me necessarily you can other you can watch other stuff but this is the best way to actually get the idea how to use the characters uh and you know the cameos and the combinations and the setups and pretty much see how you know how i think generally speaking this is how you want to end it you don't you know sometimes i end it even myself you know you can go for this and just 28 almost 29 but if you think about it you should always go for the setups because see you have it's 25 for basically two or three extra damage you get nothing out of it but with this you get a guarantee setup cage and you know still you still keep your turn because remember if they are in the cage right they can jump out of it so it's a mind game there and then you're gonna be somewhere around here and you're just gonna use a standing three or a standing one to anti air them. Make them basically stay there. If you anti air them once, they will just gonna sit in that little cage and <laughs> just gonna wait for your nasty little setups like this. Uh, some other key notes when it comes to uh, the bone cage and the per the orange portal is if you meter burn the orange portal and you get hit, you can actually control the orange portal and follow you and actually make them drop the combo because you still obviously a bit of a meter from them but you also give yourself armor so you basically still turn so very important to use this uh, especially on aggressive players that uh, you know if you go with this okay sometimes it's nice to just go with this okay okay and even if they hit you you're gonna drag it because it lasts for so long that basically it's guaranteed they are gonna get at least one hit of armor and therefore gonna get your uh, your uh, turn back. So, uh, 
something to keep in mind when it comes to the orange one. All right, guys, so let's talk cameos. What is the best cameo for Quan Chi? Well, if you asked me last week, I would have said Tremor. If you asked me yesterday, I would say Cyrex, all right? The point is, every cameo is the best cameo for him. Isn't it terrific? I mean, this is the best situation a character can be. Have multiple options, not being stuck to one or two cameos like some a lot of the characters in the game. They are depending on one or two cameos, all right? But Quan Chi is the exception. I don't know, there are probably a lot uh, more cam you know, characters out there that have this uh, freedom, but Quan Chi, from my you know, personal knowledge, which is not a vast one, but Quan Chi is basically the only one or one of the uh, very few that have a bunch of cameos to select from. Every single one provides something else and basically makes you play differently. So that's perfect. This is how every character should be in Mortal Kombat in my opinion, not rely on one or two cameos. So, uh, that being said, it's on the player and how to express yourself and how to, you know, want to play the matchup because, uh, you know, I'm probably a lot better with Frost, for example, than uh, Cyrex, even though on paper Cyrex is better, right? But I'm still gonna give you some nice little combos and you pick and choose, obviously, which one you want to master uh, and which one you want to go for, or, you know, why not learn all of them if you really enjoy uh, Quan Chi and obviously I'm gonna make a playlist uh, on my channel if you want to see some online stuff and how to use Quan Chi with obviously all the other characters and let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite so now let's go into some uh, combos okay starting with Frost This is the only situation where you actually, uh, you know, it's really worth it, uh, the two bars, right? 50% is worth two bars.
All right, guys, so this is only scratching the surface when it comes to the potential uh, of Quan Chi with cameos, all right? Uh, you can dabble with a bunch of them, but if you know, you know, the basics, you can just apply it with different ones. You just need to put in a bit of work into it. I just provided you with a guide that actually helps you, you know, get you started. Uh, mastering is all up to you, obviously. And also stay tuned because I'm gonna be experimenting with different cameos with him and obviously different characters. And obviously Janet Cage will be out soon and we're gonna dabble with her as well. And let me know in the comments below if you, you know, enjoy this kind of guide. Uh, I'm not the best when it comes to teaching and talking about this stuff, but uh, in conclusion, the best advice that I can give you with Quan Chi is just have patience and, you know, just watch a lot of uh, online stuff. That's the best way to actually get an, a general idea of how the character plays and then go into training mode, have patience and try to apply what you see, you know, from other players. That's all for me, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Really appreciate your time and hope this guide helped you. And as always, I'm going to give you a nice little firm handshake.